Hey there, coaches. My name is Rich Hargett. I'm the head football coach at Emmett High School in Emmett, Idaho, and I'm also a lead consultant for coaches all over the country with the surface to air system. If you have questions, please put them down there in the comment section. We'll do the best we can to get back to you as soon as possible. Before we get started, if you'd like this video and also subscribe to the surface to air system YouTube channel, if you've not done so already, that would really be great. All right, coaches, I'm coming to you today to talk to you about, um, really our newest book and some things that we've done that I really think are some good materials we've put out there for the football community. Um, the newest book is called the Official Surface to Air System Offensive Line Manual. And it's for sale now on our website, which is www.richhargetfootball.com. That's rich and then H-A-R-G-I-T-T football.com. If you check it out, it's not only a 150 page plus book. It has over 150 game um, film plays that we're selling with it. And it also has a 45 minute fully narrated EDD video for our offensive line that goes with it. And one of the things I really like about the book is not only is it a drill book and a drill manual, but it's a schematic manual for all of the run schemes we run inside the surface to air system. And one of those schemes that we really like is the split zone or we call duo split zone. We're really blocking this play like a duo play, but we have a fullback or tight end in the game to split flow it and kick out that backside C gap. Here you can see we're on the road. We're actually the neutral side over in Oregon playing a big 5A school from up in Coeur d'Alene. Uh, it was a big win for our program this past year. You can see there the offensive lines tracking duo to the right, split zone back to the left. And there you go. Ball gets vertical and off and we go, we're running there. Okay, you're seeing these clips from the last couple seasons. Um, here, our tight end is going to split it across the formation. And you see him take account for the backside C gap. Our offensive lines run their duo rules back up to the top of the screen. There you go, just kind of building that wall. We kick out the backside C gap. And our tailback inserts through the backside B, stays vertical, runs a guy over. Nice, good, solid run for us right there. All of these plays are diagrammed throughout our new offensive line manual book. Here's an end zone shot of that same play. Um, there you can see the ball carrier getting up the field on the hash. All these plays are diagrammed in our new official S2A system offensive line manual. Um, all of these game clips you're seeing here are included as part of the package you can purchase on our website. And like I said, we have the 45 minute narrated offensive line EDD or everyday drill manual. Um, all of these things, I think, are a great resource that we'd kind of been lacking inside the surface-to-air system. I felt like we really needed to get some true offensive line work. We would published a book a few years ago called Down and Out um, that really had our thoughts about how we block a lot of our plays and kind of how we coach our offensive line in it. But I felt like we really needed to upgrade that for the modern era as we go into this 2023 season. I felt like we really needed to break it down to its basic parts and take you, the reader, sort of through how we coach our offensive line. You've got everything from the mental and physical characteristics of the offensive line inside there to the schematic things we're doing in terms of how we block plays. And then you're also getting, um, you know, kind of how we're handling our drills on a day-to-day -day or a week basis. And then at the end of the book, one of the things I really like is I co-authored it with our offensive coordinator, Brandon Young, and our offensive line coach, Preston Simpson. I really like how we went through there and we talked about game planning. We really went in depth into the game planning aspect of sort of how we're, how we're building our, our menu of how to attack defenses. And you see here as these clips are rolling through, you're seeing some 10P, some 11P, some 12P, some 14P. We're all over the place. Okay, we love to change personnel groupings. We think that this split zone or split duo play is a great play. Here you can see 12P from behind in the playoffs. One tight end attached, one tight end kicking out or fullback kicking out. We just think that this split zone or split duo play is a great football play for high school football. And I hear people say all the time, well, it's, it's complicated, it's tricky. We feel like we've done a really good job simplifying these rules down and making it an easy play that you can execute, an easy play that you can use, on Friday night and help your guys be successful. And inside of our new book, we feel like we've done a really good job explaining those rules and simplifying things down to give you sort of a, a real world game plan, a real world framework for how to execute these plays at a really, really high level. So um, again, great play for us. 
You're seeing a lot of different personnel groupings scroll through here. All of the video you see here, coaches, is all included in that package because we wanted to make sure that you're not just watching, you know, some some cut ups and saying, OK, does this work? Does this not work? You've got the book. You got the video. You've got the game film. You've got the drills, everything in one concise location um, to help out not just an offensive line coach, but we feel like also offensive play callers. All right, and see there we got a little zone bounce action. Here it is from the end zone view. You can see all of our guys are just going to take their gap over, work their zone combos here. We're going to split zone it across, take out that backside C gap. We just let our running back go be athletic. We just tell him to be out of phase with the backside linebacker, okay? So when we say out of phase, what we mean is wherever the backside linebacker goes, we just want to avoid him. OK, here you can see there's the backside linebacker right there. All right. When we have that backside linebacker do what he does here, he clearly is going to shuffle down and stay behind that backside double team. Our back goes in the front side A and just stays away from him. And we feel like what that does is it lets us gain extra yardage. If that back flows over the top and he jumps into the play side, then we're going to cut it out the backside here again. Find that backside linebacker. There he is. He's going to try to run behind that zone double team. So he's essentially running himself outside the fit. You can see now we're going to keep the ball on the front side of the zone. All right. Very simple rules for our guys. Very proficient style of running. It lets you run the ball, I think, against a wide variety of fronts. It doesn't matter Oki. It doesn't matter stack. It doesn't matter even. You've just got options. Okay, so number 11 right there is the backside linebacker. We want to be out of phase with him. If he runs over the top, we want to cut this ball back and bring it all the way back here. If he runs behind the fit back here, we want to keep it play side and keep it vertical. And you can see here, if I slow it down, show you from the end zone view, you can see number 11 kind of jumps outside the fit. There goes our back, keeps it vertical. And he's going to put that one in the end zone for us. That's from a playoff game as well. Okay, really good job by our offensive line, just taking what the defense presents. Okay, it doesn't really matter if they stick or they stem. doesn't matter if they bring pressure. You've got options for that. Here we are moving the tight end, okay, giving them a different look, making them account for the tight end in a new location, playing a 4-2-5 defense here. There's your split zone action. Tailback's just staying away from that backside linebacker. Stay out of phase with him and keep the ball vertical because he stayed on the backside. That's all we're asking our running back to do. Okay, we're not asking him to do a bunch of complicated stuff. In this case, we're looking at basically number 24 back there. 24 is going to come right downhill in that backside A. Okay, you've seen bury himself right there. Just keep your eyes on 24. He's going to bury himself in the backside A. So the tailback's just going to jump cut it over the front side A, get vertical. Run right to the official now. Get yards. Get a first down. Live to play another day. Okay, to me, that just keeps things very efficient for the running back. You're not asking him to understand, you know, 100 different things. You're keeping life pretty darn simple for him. Then we're going to get a little pull read. Okay, we got a, the defense took out our split zone guy. We teach our quarterback, just go ahead and pull the ball. If they wrong arm that thing, just go ahead and pull the ball and run it out the backside. All right, coaches, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to the Surface to Air System YouTube channel as well so we can reach more coaches around the country. If you have questions, put them in the comment section below and I'll answer them just as soon as I can. You can reach me on Twitter at Coach Hargett or you can reach the Surface to Air System account at S2A System. You can also head over to our website. We've done a bunch of nice upgrades to that. A uh, lot of interesting things you can find on there, game planning, play calling, or you can find our new offensive line manual complete with the game film and the EDD video. Just head over to our website at www.richhargetfootball.com. That's rich and then H-A-R-G-I-T-T football.com. All right, coaches, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks a lot.